हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand some basic concepts of network theory. First, let us understand what is a network. Network is interconnection of electrical components. So we can define network as interconnection of electrical components. For example, if we take resistor, inductor, and capacitor these three are electrical components if we interconnect these component we call the resulting circuit as a network so we can say a network is interconnection of electrical component now let us see what is a circuit a circuit is interconnection of electrical elements which are joined together in a closed path so that an electric current can flow so we can define circuit as interconnection of electrical elements that are joined together in a closed path so that an electric current can flow so this is the example of a circuit where the different electrical elements are joined together in a closed path here an electric current will flow since each elements are connected in closed path here we need to note that all circuits are network but all networks are not circuit so here you need to remember that all circuits are network but all networks are not circuit so as you can see here since each elements are interconnected we can call this circuit as a network but here you can see in a network all elements are interconnected but they are not connected in a closed path so that's why the network might not be a circuit so we say all circuits are networks but all networks are not circuit now let us understand what is current we can define current as rate of flow of charges that can be given as i is equal to q by t so we can define electric current as a rate of flow of electric charges that can be given as i is equal to q by t here charge is the quantity responsible for electric phenomena and it can be denoted as q and this electric charge q will be having a value minus 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs therefore we can say minus 1 coulomb is charge on 6.24 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons here charge is the quantity responsible for electric phenomena so charge is responsible for electric current and it can be denoted as q here a charge will be having a value minus 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs therefore we can say minus 1 coulomb is the charge on 6.24 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons therefore we can say the net displacement of charge carriers through the cross sectional area of a conductor is known as electric current here electric current can be denoted as capital i or small i so we can say the net displacement of charge carrier through the cross sectional area of any conductor is known as electric current here electric current can be denoted as capital i or small i if the charge flowing through the conductor is varying with respect to time then current i can be denoted as dq by dt so if charge flowing through a conductor is varying with respect to time we can denote current as dq by dt so here initially we have written current as 
q by t because in this case we assume that the charge flowing through the conductor is not varying. If charge flowing through the conductor is varying we can use this formula. Here there are two types of current first one is a DC current and second one is AC current. When the magnitude and direction of current flowing in an electrical element does not change with respect to time it is known as direct current. So, here in this example as you can see the magnitude and direction of the current is not changing with respect to time such current is known as direct current. If current in an electrical element has a continuous varying magnitude with respect to time and if it changes the direction of flow it is known as AC current. If a current in an element is varying with respect to time and also it changes the direction of flow such current is known as AC current. Now, let us understand voltage. Voltage is also known as potential difference. Sometimes voltage is also known as potential difference. Voltage can be defined as the amount of energy to move a unit charge between two points in an electric circuit. Here voltage is also known as potential difference. We can define voltage as amount of energy to move a unit charge between two points in an electric circuit. We can write voltage as V is equal to W by Q. So, it is the ratio of work done or energy divided by charge. So, V is equal to work or energy divided by charge. Now, let us understand power. Here power is the rate of doing work. So, we can define power as rate of doing work. So, we can write power is equal to W by T. Since power is equal to W by T, we can write this as W by Q into Q by T, right. So, W by T, we can write it as W by Q into Q by T. So, if we cancel out these two Q, we will get W by T. Since we know W by Q, we can write it as V and Q by T, we can write it as I. We can write this equation as V into I. Therefore, we can write power as V into I. So, this is one more formula for power. If we take DC component, we can write power as V I. If we take AC component, at that case, we can write power as V I cos phi. Here cos phi is known as power factor. If sign of power is positive, then we can say the power is being absorbed by the element. If the sign of power is negative, then we can say power is being supplied by the element. So, generally we can have positive power or negative power. If the sign of power is positive, at that case we can say the power is being absorbed by the element. So, the element is absorbing the power. If the sign of power is negative, at that case we can say the power is being supplied by the element. So, element is supplying the power if the sign of power is negative. You need to remember these points. This is about some basic concepts of network theory. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.